sharing food with people and, and just instant invitation into people's homes is probably what stuck with me the most about India particularly. And we're just lying there, um, watching the truck bounce up the road with the pipes and just thinking, wow, this is such an amazing, beautiful place and we're helping these people. Pinching yourself and thinking, yeah, this is, this is my workplace. <laughs> Walking along from the little rice paddy to rice paddy and looking out and there'd be Gnunga Gung in the distance, the big volcano and unbelievable, yeah. We look, we look for community organisations who've got a philosophy that fit, fit with ours and that could be a, a, a local NGO in Nepal, it could be a social enterprise in, in Cambodia, but people who share similar values and similar mission to us and who are having trouble filling a technical gap. That's where our, our engineers can help. So I was in East Timor, Timor-Leste, on EWB's partnership with Plan Timor-Leste um, around building the capacity um, partners' capacity in water system design, construction and sanitation. It was an Indian organisation that we were working with. Um, it was a new partnership for EWB, so that was pretty um, exciting. And they were working on everything in waste management. So I went to Bali, um, to a little village in East Bali. The EWB project was the Tenganan Water Supply Project. Um, and we were helping the community in their progress of um, expanding their network of the supply and, and also improving how they manage it. When they arrive in country, that's when that really starts to open up and that's when we just see people blossom, which is really beautiful to see. Also see them get frustrated at times too. There's, you know, they'll go through this sort of honeymoon period at the, at the peak where everything's new, everything's amazing, um, but there's a real critical step where they see what they have been taught at university or what they've been taught in their workplace or what can often be a linear approach just doesn't work. Pay a lot of attention to the setup and you know what your role is going to be and all that sort of stuff and then completely expect something different <laughs> because it never ends up how it's written down on paper. But there was one day where um, we walked up the hill, the hill that the village at the top, um, Bukakau, walk up to um, every day carrying their bucket of water on their head and I walked up with my one little water bottle just to keep me going for a few hours. Um, you get at the top, you're drenched with sweat and you just feel like drinking your entire water bottle and let alone wanting to wash yourself. Um, to meet with these women and you get a complete appreciation for what they have to do every single day. It was a period where I had no water for six weeks. So carting water for, for yourself for six weeks is a hell of an effort. Um, and then the work sites, like in the wet season, um, it's very hard to get to. Like you might get the morning, it might be dry in the morning, but you've still got to ride your motorbike up a river. The path is a river and life and project cycles are very different, that's for sure. And we really look for those people, I guess, who at that point can really take a step back, reflect on the, the approach, reflect on what's happening about them, um, engage with the people and really find solutions that, that are more appropriate to a, to a community context. What I'm proud of, it's not so much the engineering projects per se that I was working on, but it's the people. Um, it's the people that I was working with and seeing their personal growth, both in confidence and capability um, and belief in what they're doing. That's, that's what I'm proud of. These were women, mostly women, who mostly spent their time on the landfill, no shoes, rummaging through, usually setting fire to things so they could get the medals and all that sort of stuff. Our organisation engaged with a lot of these people and said, do you want to come and work for us? And not only will you come and work for us, but you'll become a green ambassador. That will be your title. That was pretty incredible to see different transformations of self-confidence and that sort of stuff. And I remember the day when they were connecting it up and the water was turned on and the first water that ever had been piped up to the top of this village came spilling out the other side. And just the look on these people's faces, they were so, so happy and people would just materialise out of the woodwork with their buckets to fill up and word was spreading and people were running off in all directions and shouting and screaming and celebrating and to stand there and go, wow. Like, 
I was part of this. When, when you go over and actually see them operate overseas, you see how humble they are, um, how skilled they are, how creative they are, um, how warm they are, and how much they actually care. And they've got, they've got an avenue to do that. And it just, you know, that their problem solving ability has, a, has an opportunity to engage and, and flourish. And we've had this comment before from engineering companies, those people who volunteer with EWB, they earmark as leaders. So it's completely broken down my preconception of what um, aid work is. It's not aid, it's two-way knowledge sharing. It's just really about you know, working together with these people to achieve, um, to achieve their needs, to achieve aims, but then we come away enriched as well. Without borders in a literal sense means we work in different places. Um, we work overseas, we work with Aboriginal communities in Australia, but more metaphorically speaking as well, it's, it's let's look at some of the possibilities of what we can do with these people and these skills. And the possibilities are pretty exciting. And you have a huge opportunity to, to connect to something greater and, and make differences and affect change and all of these sorts of things that can sometimes seem a bit too out of reach the whole you don't know what you don't know situation. So um, chance to really make a difference to these people um, and it's a chance for them to really make a difference to you as well. Oh, if someone's considering doing volunteering they should do it. Um, my regret is, and this is something I said to EWB in my debrief, is my regret is I didn't do it earlier. Thank you.